Hello, and welcome back to another review by Zombin. Man, oh man, oh man, my peeps and peepets, I have got such a world-class review tonight. <clears throat> not only do I got one item, not only do I got two items, man, I got four items. That's right, I got a quadrabanger for this one, and you know how I love to do the quadrabangers. We're going to look at two Kanger products, and we're going to look at two liquids. And all of it comes from ECI. That's ecigaretteimpressions.com. <clears throat> and you know that I've reviewed stuff from there plenty of times. Great company, great products. So let's get to it. All right. We're going to first look at one of Kanger's newest things that just recently hit, which is their improvement to the T3, and it's called the T3S. Now, basically, they took the T3 and they morphed it with the Kanger Evod, okay? So they took the Evod's coil, and they took the Evod's mouthpiece, and they transferred it into the T3. And this is what they came up with. They came up with a beauty. It's a thing of beauty. It looks just like T3 morphed with the Kinger Evod. And it's called T3S. Now, the second piece of hardware follows suit right, right along with that one. Because if you remember, <clears throat> the T3 had a metal chassis that went right along with it called the MT3. Basically, it was just a metal metallic design of the T3. So, of course, Kanger, hey, you know, we got to do something for that. So they took and they morphed the MT3 with the EVOD, and it came up with this, the MT3S. So it's the MT3 with the EVOD's mouthpiece and the EVOD's coil. So let me show you. Basically, you take the base out. It's got the EVOD's coil design, but it still has <clears throat> the T3 or the MT3 space, which is killer, you know. I mean, who would have guessed the Kinger would have went that direction. And the nice thing is, is that you've still got the three milliliter compartments to put your e-juice in. Okay? So, what more is there to say about this? Well, check this out, right? This generation of Kinger products actually is interchangeable with every one of them, okay? The Pro Tank coil, the Kanger Evod coil, the MT3S, and the T3S, all the coils are interchangeable with each other. So you could take a Pro Tank coil and you could stick it in a T3S. You could take a MT3S coil and you could stick it in a Kanger Evod. That's how interchangeable they are. But you cannot take an older generation of Kanger product like MT3 and put it in a Kanger Protein. Can't do it. Because if you did, you'd have juices leaking all over the place. Impossible. So, I'm going to show you how to set both of these up. And then we're going to do a fire run on both of them. Okay. So let's start with the Kanger T3S. So first off, how do you do it? Well, the coil basically comes out the same way the Evods did. Okay? So here you have the base, which basically looks just like this. I'll show you here. That's the base. Basically like they implemented what the EVOD space is compared to the T3. 
or the MT3. <clears throat> and here's the coil that we've all grown to love and know from the EVOD and the Pro Tank. So, you take and you just screw in these two together, like so. Make sure I got that right. Make sure we got this rubber down the right way, too. <clears throat> and basically, once you fill up the juice, which that's the third piece to this puzzle. What juice are we going to put in here? Well, we're going to put in a brand new juice that ECI just got in, which is Hankson's RY4. And it's 24 milligram and it happens to be a 70 30 PGB. So let's go ahead and open this up. Take a smell. Oh yeah, it smells caramelly with little hints of vanilla and little nuttiness going on there. So you're going to fill this up the same way you would have a T3. Basically, tilt it to the side and just fill it up. Fill it all the way up to the connection point where the coil head goes into the T3. Or the T, I'm sorry, the T3S. About like right there. I have got that sucker full. So then, what you want to do is just take your base with the coil, put it right down into the center tube, and close it off. Just like that. So now we've got RY4 by Hankson in the brand new Kanger T3S. <clears throat> Grab yourself a tissue, do a little wipe down real quick, and there you have it. All fine and dandy. Okay, so, but before we set this down, remember, you want to take you about three or four dry hits so that the juices will flow into the chamber. So now, we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the MT3S. <clears throat> and basically, it's the same thing, you know, that we just looked at with the T3S. So, what juice are we going to put in that? Well, another brand new juice that ECI just got in, which is the Banana by Hankson, and that comes in a 24 milligram, 70-30 PGVG. Yes, I know, sometimes I get a little ludicrous about the strength of my juices, but it's because I like to have that, how does he say it, I like to hit in the back of me throat. Sorry, I had to say it. So, you're going to look at the window, and you're going to watch the fluid Come up in there, and you can see the fluid come up in the window. Ooh, yeah, I just squeezed the heck out of that. All right, and so there we go. We've got that one filled up now, and you're gonna take the base on this one, set it down in there, just like you did the other one. Screw it off. 
And you want to make sure that you don't tighten these down too tight because remember, you can take the chance on, you know, messing up the threads. You don't want to do that because if you strip the threads out, then you're going to have to buy yourself a new product and that's a waste of money. Even though the vendors will love you for it, it's still a waste of money. <clears throat> so do a little wipe down. Do a little twirl. And do a little dry hit. Now the T3S and the MT3 ECI has those. Shoot. No. Can't seem to get that off of there. There we go. ECI has those with different colors. They have them in blue, purple, and I believe red. With the MT3S, they have them in ah, stainless steel, purple, black, blue, crimson red, yellow, and green. And you can also get the uh, replacement coils for them in 1.8. as well as the 2.2 now the T3S comes in the clear, the black, the blue, the red, and the green <clears throat> and the, the uh, coils come in 2.2 and 1.8 now the thing about hooking them up to a PV such as the VAMO or something thereof similar to that you are going to need to get an adapter like the 510 to Ego And this is the 510 to Ego right here. Which ECI does carry. You basically put that on the ammo first. And then you put your T3S on, like so, and 
and this is what it looks like because you cannot take the T3S and put it down inside of the drip well to get to the ego threads that the Bama normally has so you have to have uh, the adapter in order to do it correctly so with the first one the T3S which is loaded with the RY4 I'm getting a resistance reading of 2.3 ohms on the stock coil that comes with it. So let's have a vape, see how it performs, and see what the RY4 tastes like. Ooh, yeah. Really good. Really, really good. Um, performance. Ranks right up there with the EVOD. Let's take a look at that again. Performs really good for uh, a three milliliter atomizer, and the taste, the taste is really good. Okay, so for Hankson's RY4. I'm going to give the taste on this. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Really good. Now, as far as comparability, I would have to say that the Kanger T3S, hmm, definitely outperforms its predecessor, the T3, and it definitely outshines the CE series, the Stardust series. And as far as cardamizers go, it definitely outdoes that too, and it is damn good for bottom coil. Now, as far as throat hit goes, I'm going to give the throat hit an 8 out of 10. Very nice. Um, it's a little bit of harshness. You expect it with a tobacco, though, because an RY4 is a tobacco. It goes down smooth. Well, like I said, with a touch of harshness, and it comes back up the same way. Works very well in conjunction with the taste. <clears throat> and you get that you get that caramel taste on the exhale, and you have that lingering vanilla nuttiness also. So that's really good. Now let's check the uh, vapor production. Vapor production on the T3S, very good. And the RY4, pretty good. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 as well. There's lots of it. And it's pretty satisfying. So let's move on to the MT3S and the banana by Hankson. So, as I said before, you just basically screw it on. Now, look at this. 
Now you talk about a matchup. There you go. That looks dynamite. Okay, so this is the NT3S. Let's check our resistance. Ah, we got a 2.4 this time. So it's not too far off. And this is Hankson's banana, 24 milligram, 7030 PGBG. <clears throat> so let's have a beep, see how it performs, see what it tastes like. Ooh, very nice, very, very nice. The performance is about the same level that the T3S was. And I have a feeling that it's going to do, a, you know, about the same that the T3S did because it pretty much designed the same way except for the looks. <clears throat> now, as far as the taste of the banana goes, it's pretty much... A fruity banana, which is really good. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I like banana. So, let's check the throat hit. Mmm. What is a hell of a good taste. So it goes down smooth, and you get that you get that really good ooey gooey banana pop as it comes back up, and that's the exhale, and it works really super fine in conjunction with the taste. So I'm going to give it a nine out of ten as well. Now let's check that vapor production. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. You get lots of vapor production. Very satisfying. Makes me want to take another vape. <clears throat> so there you have it. The MT3S, the T3S, and Hankson's Banana, and RY4. All very good products from ECI, Kanger's new lineup, and you can also get the Kanger Pro Tank which comes in multiple colors from ECI. Extremely good products, which eCigaretteImpressions.com has multiple good products. I know because I've reviewed several of their things there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the review. I've got a incredibly special review coming up very soon. And... You guys are going to love it because it has to deal with an old friend of mine that I've had in my hand for a long time now. So, and no, don't be getting no silly ideas about that. So anyways, <clears throat> please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always... Happy vaping.